So first up, spoilers. This will definitely contain a few spoilers because there are certain things that I would like to discuss that need to be mentioned in a little bit of detail. So we've reached the final episode of Whitaker's first series and I can't quite believe it. It's come by really quickly and I'm a little bit upset that it's over. And I'm also slightly confused about how I feel with this episode. There are things that I really liked about it, but the actual story itself I didn't, which may sound self-contradictory, but I will explain. So first of all, we had the trailer last week and she said, I know that voice. And of course, all week everybody's been going, who is it? What is it? What could it be? And then it's revealed that we have, as I said, spoilers, Tim Shaw. And this has good and bad things to it. For me personally, I was never that emotionally bothered about Tim Shaw, the character. I loved the way he looked, but his backstory and things I, I wasn't really that bothered about. But on the flip side, of course, we have this connecting us back to the first episode and we have some fantastic emotions and lines and moments with Graham that make this the emotional level that a, uh, a final episode should be. So I can see the benefit of bringing his character back, but personally I felt no real connection to the character or his story. And that's basically true for this entire story and to me it felt like filler, partly because Tim Shaw was hardly in it. The Doctor answers these distress calls and you know pretty quickly we realise it's Tim Shaw and I think it's going to be all about him. But there are other aspects brought in and it's really slow to progress. I don't feel like a lot happens. Um, I feel like we're just constantly kind of going back and forth between Yaz and Ryan and Graham and the Doctor and we're never really moving forward. We're always just moving sideways until maybe slightly towards the end where it picks up the pace quite a little bit. So the story itself to me felt like a filler episode. It felt like he should have been somewhere in the middle. But the emotional aspect that Tim Shaw brought for Graham I thought was powerful and I'm glad that we can connect it to the first episode without having had this entire long complicated story arc like certain previous series used to give us. So I'm completely, the negatives outweigh the positives but the positives outweigh the negatives with me for this one. Um, I thought Poltraki, Mark Addy, brilliant, really likeable character so that was a bonus. Um, we do have basically an entire series worth of sci-fi in this one episode. So for the episodes previously that haven't really felt very sci-fi, I feel like this one really makes up for it. There's a lot going on there in that sense. I didn't dislike any of the characters. There was nobody who irritated me, which is always a good thing. And while I feel a little bit let down that I know this voice wasn't anybody I cared about, I kind of didn't think it would be because we were already told that there wouldn't be a lot of harks back to previous creatures and things. So what do I think of this episode? I don't think it's worthy of being a finale. I do think Graham made this feel a little bit like a finale episode though, so you know, credit to the fantastic Bradley Walsh where due. Um, I, I don't think it is worthy of concluding Whitaker's series. I feel like there are better episodes that could have gone at the end, but Whitaker has had a fantastic start. I, I cannot wait for the New Year episode. I cannot wait to see what else we have in store for our Doctor. She's amazing. She's incredible. This episode was all right. The rest of the series was good. Do let me know what you think of this one, and more importantly, if you feel it's worthy of being the final episode.